Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm looking at this Google USB-C 30 watt charger. This is one of the ones that was requested in the comments. So if you do have a request, put it down below and I'll get to it eventually. I have a lot of these right now. See the Google name on the side? It does have a little thing that says energy verified over here. I cheated a little and I already pulled this thing open. So I did have this plastic wrap around the outside, which clinker wrap, not so great. Comes with a little user manual, just a bunch of safety stuff. So there are a lot of pages in here, and I don't see where this user manual actually tells you what it does. Yeah, so this isn't instructions. This is just a, this is just a basically trash. I don't know why it's in here. Does it identify the modes anywhere? Here we see what it can actually do. So it's made for Pixel phones, Pixel Buds, Chromebooks, capable of those things. So they do tell you what it can do. 5, 9, 15, 20. So here's the actual adapter. It's got a little paper wrap around it. Quite simple, understated. It's got a little G on there from Google. On this side, we can see that it's got a bunch of safety markings. So it's got the UL safety mark here. It's got a UL energy verified. Did a little research on this. This is basically just confirming the same thing as this little six over here, but it's doing it for multiple countries. So this is a DOE mark, just saying that the device meets a certain level of power efficiency. So, so many watts in to so many watts out. The UL energy verified has got a C on there. So this is indicating that it's meeting the Canada requirements for the same type of thing. Got our single USB-C port. Not bad. Overall, let's check out how much it weighs. The packaging weighs 66 grams. The power adapter weighs 72 grams. Now let's plug it in and check it out. So one of the things I can see right away is that the idle power consumption is very low. Just a few tenths of a watt. That's a good number. Power factor is also very low, but so is the VA. So it's just overall a very, very tiny number, which is a good thing. So you can see our THD number kind of bounces around a little bit. So that's telling you this device is kind of turning on and off. Let's go ahead and plug in the ultra light test load here and see what happens. And that's what I would expect. So as soon as you put any kind of load on the device, the THD shoots up to a much, much higher number. You can see it's settling out a little bit though. So that's good. It's not the worst I've seen. All right, so five watts at five volts. You can see it's using some power. See our power factor came up to 0.53. So it's telling us it's not power factor corrected device, just a normal power adapter. Overall, it's operating the way a normal power adapter would. Check the modes, we have five volts, nine volts, 15 volts and 20 volts. So just as advertised and it can change modes while the power is on. All right, let's go ahead and take it up to overload and see what happens. So we're at our 30 Watts. So it's doing the full power, pretty good amount of power in. So it's very efficient. Let's take it up 31, 32 Watts, 33 Watts, 34 Watts, 35 Watts. And that's it. It's off. Let's turn it off and it does recover to the five volts. So it can be, un it doesn't have to be unplugged and plugged back in, but it looks like the overload condition to set, you know, trips at 35 Watts. It's not too conservative. It's, it's a good rating. So that's safe and solid. Uh, so overall that's a win from the device. The overall values for this Google adapter don't look too bad. This is a $25 device. So it's kind of on the high end of the price range for a 30 watt adapter. And overall the power quality is towards the higher end. It is not the leading device by any means. The efficiency is not the leading efficiency, but it's pretty good. It's in that high, you know, 89 to 90, 91% it hits at the highest mode. So it's not terrible. So overall, this is a safe, solid adapter that's, you know, good for general devices. When we compare this to the other devices, we see that same kind of trend where this is near the top of the devices, not the best, not the worst, but overall not bad. So when we take a look at this on the graph, we can see that the idle power consumption and the THD are much lower. So that causes our power quality score to be higher. So the idle power quality score for this unit blows everything out of the water with a 34. So that's excellent. So if there's a power adapter that you want to leave plugged in all the time, this Google adapter is it. When we take a look at the average score, we can see that there's a little bit more going on here. When we take a look at the graph for this device on the overall side, you can see that it's not in the top of the stack, but it's not the worst. It's, it's a solid average in terms of its power performance while it's on. So overall, if you're looking for a power adapter, this Google power adapter is $25. It's not too bad. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but it's a solid performer. And it does have some nice UL safety ratings. So you know that it's been tested and verified that it actually works within the parameters that are listed. The one thing about this adapter that stands out against its competitors is it has a very, very good idle power consumption. It's a class leader in that part. But overall, that's about it. Let me know what you thought in the comments and 
We'll be taking a look at something else next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.